the first thing which I have done here is I have opened notepad plus plus and I have created a new file you can use simple notepad that's not a problem I want this batch file to create me a folder tree as shown in the left portion of the screen in the windows explorer I want the batch script to create a work folder and inside it create three children folders documents images and meeting slides Inside the meeting slides, I wanted to create a folder Excel sheets and another folder audio files. And inside the image folder, I want to have a special folder. So this is the hierarchy. If you are using Notepad++, you can go to the language menu and select batch. Remember I told you in the previous video that we are going to use the MD command prompt command to make a new directory or folder. So our batch file will start with an md command md space work that's the first folder we want to create. Now I want to go inside this folder I will do cd work folder and next thing is we want to make its children so the children are images and meeting slides I'm going to do those one by one enter md images enter md double quotes meeting slides I'm putting the meeting slides in double quotes because the name contains a space and when a name contains a space we need to enclose it in double quotes now we'll go inside the meeting slides for that we'll do cd space cd meeting slides and then we will make its children which are md space audio files and md space excel space sheets and enter now we need to go back one level up and to do that we'll do cd double dot and then we are going to go inside the images folder we'll do cd space images enter and make its child md special that's the only folder and that is that just to show you the output of the script, I will add a brief pause here. Pause is another DOS command. That's it. And now let me save the batch file on the desktop. Control S folder maker dot BAT. And the save as type is already all types. So we will do this save done. Next I'm going to run this script and to do that First of all, I'm going to delete the work folder so that you can see a new work folder is created. I will double click the folder maker.bat. Here it has executed. You can see all the results on the screen. And you can also see that the work folder is created here on the desktop. Okay. So let's go inside the work folder. You see here the work folder, the images folder and its child special folder, the meeting slides and audio files and so all of these things you can basically do all of this in one step if like you have to do it on more than one places or if you have to create such a folder hierarchy on routine basis for accounting files or whatever you can use this technique. A very important thing is that uh, we need to think in a step-by-step -step fashion. These scripts work in a step-by-step -step fashion. So you need to be a little careful when you're thinking about these scripts that how these scripts are going to go top down step-by-step -step and do the job you want them to do. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you had found it useful and please do watch the next video. It's also a really interesting one.